Hello everyone, welcome to another video, another celestial tour. From now on, I have decided to upload videos in less than 5 minutes. At least I'll try my best to upload, in order to make the video in a more simple way. Until I get a certain subscriber range someday. I was going to upload this on the moon landing anniversary on July 20th, but I had to work on the James Webb video. That's why this video got out of hand. Anyways, in this video, I will talk about anything related to the moon landing. So let's just jump into the video. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The Apollo 11 crew was made from three people, Neil Armstrong, the commander, Edwin Buzz Aldrin, the lunar module pilot, and Michael Collins, the command module pilot. The crew launched with the Saturn V rocket. The lunar module was named Eagle and the command module was named Columbia. The lunar module Eagle landed on the Tranquility Base and Neil Armstrong said the quote, Houston, Tranquility Base here, the Eagle has landed. And soon enough, Neil Armstrong, followed by Buzz Aldrin, stepped on the moon. Neil Armstrong has become the first person to step on the moon, saying the other famous quote, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And Buzz Aldrin became the second person to step on the moon. The Saturn V rocket launched on July 16, 1969 from the Kennedy Space Center. The Eagle landed on the moon on July 20, 1969. The date also when Neil Armstrong became the first man to step on the moon. And the Apollo 11 crew came back to Earth on July 24, 1969 and landed into the North Pacific Ocean. Apollo 11 was one of the 17 Apollo missions. Apollo 11 has achieved the goal of John F. Kennedy when he said in 1961 that the USA chose to go to the moon. The moon landings were a big part of the space race, which was part of the Cold War between the United States of America and the Soviet Union, which was a geopolitical tension between these two countries. Now, there was a competition between these two countries, especially when it came to space exploration. The Soviet Union sent the first man, the first dog, the first artificial satellite, and etc. And the United States sent the first man into the moon. Now, according to some, the Soviet Union has done more, which, not gonna lie, is kinda true, but this doesn't change the fact that the moon landing is also an important step for space exploration. However, of course, there are people who make conspiracy theories about this, that the moon landings were filmed in the studio and it was directed by Stanley Kubrick. But it's true, you gotta get your brain back to reality. Wake up, sheeple. Wake up. Much better. So in the next video, I will talk about the conspiracy theories about the Apollo 11 moon landings. So, in conclusion, the Apollo 11 moon landings were really a giant leap for mankind. It is a step for humanity's knowledge about the moon, since moon rock samples were collected and brought to Earth, and the celestial objects outside and around Earth. It doesn't matter what you think politically, the United States, the Soviet Union, and other countries have done important stuff for science and space exploration. So we can't just say that the Soviet Union has done more than the United States. I'm saying this without any sign of politics, by the way. Because quantity isn't important, quality is important. Anyways, the next video will be about the conspiracy theories about Apollo 11 debunked. And thank you for watching this video about the historical Apollo 11 moon landings. Stay astronomical.